Ryan Steinecker with Coach Ashley Brown of the Rich Rebels. And, Coach, uh, a tough loss against Westside. A couple plays, or maybe four different situations. The two plays, the, their kickoff return, their interception return, and then those two possessions you had deep in their territory that didn't work out made a big difference in the game. Yeah, you know, we for the most part, I thought we played fairly well. Uh, the second quarter was a rough quarter for us. But, you know, we had chances in the first quarter to get in the end zone, and we just didn't make plays. And then, you know, we had a chance to get an interception in the first quarter, and we didn't do it. So we're just lacking making plays when the plays present themselves. Can you tell me more about those first two possessions you had deep in their territory and couldn't get anything going? We had a screen pass that, you know, we should have been able to score on. And then we had the other one, we had somebody wide open in the end zone and we just didn't catch it. And, you know, those are things that you have to be able to do. And I think it would have turned the game around if we would have scored first. It would give us confidence and put Westside on their heels a little bit. And then if you, even if you don't get scores there still and you take away their special teams and defensive play, it's a, I think, 22 to, or 24 to 16 game. It really wasn't that lopsided. Yeah, you know, and we, we talked about that at halftime. You know, we, we finally got the momentum when we scored right before half, and then we turned around and let them score on a kick return before the half. And, you know, that, and those are just things you can't do if you're playing a good team to beat them. How good do you think that team is compared to who you'll face the rest of the way? You know, I think they're good. They're very young. They only got three seniors, you know, which might hurt them a little bit with their leadership but you know their kids play hard they do things right so you know they would they would match up well with like the Duchesnes and Canabs in our league so you know it was a good game for us and you know we just got to get better they had a couple big running backs reminded me of Weston Paulson the big kid from Duchesne yeah you know we won't see a much better back than that kid you know he ran hard he was quick you know he was strong and and that's what we're going to see in Duchesne's backs and I'm sure Canab will have kids similar to that so it's something that we're going to have to be able to defend and you know he's a kid that definitely hurt us on Friday. How's the team health at this point of the season? We're good everybody's still healthy we get Jared back this week so we're at full strength and you know we just got to make sure that we do things better. Will you be kind of easing him back in or will he just jump right in this week? He'll be eased in a little bit on offense, and then defensively we'll see you know, where we need him. And if we need him somewhere, he, he might jump in right, right on defense. What do you know about uh, the Monticello Buckaroos this year? You know, Monticello got beat by Grand and by San Juan, which are both 2A schools. You know, and then they beat Wayne pretty good. But, you know, they're going to be similar to what they've been in the past. You know, they're going to have a good running back, uh, and their linebackers will be very good. So, you know, we're going to have our hands full, and we've got to make sure that we come ready to play. They'll be excited to come, and they're playing their first 1A competition as well. So, you know, it's a big game for both of us. You've beat them, I think, seven times in a row prior to this season. Is it something that, that you're doing from a game-to-game basis versus them, or is it just something that you're doing every year? Monticello's always been a good game for us. When we, when we do beat them, it's not by a long ways. And they're a team in our classification that you could meet later on, and we usually do. So, you know, we just got to make sure that we're well prepared this week and that we come out ready to get after it. Other than limiting some big plays and not allowing kickoff returns for touchdowns, what other things do you need to do better this week? You know, we're still inconsistent on offense at times. You know, we'll do really good for 20 or 30 yards, and then we either get a penalty or, or we get a, a loss of yardage on because somebody didn't block. So just consistency on offense. And then, you know, defensively, like I said, when we have opportunities to make plays, we need to. And then I think one thing, our kids got to play hard at all times. And I think in the first two games, there's times that they didn't do that. Ashley Brown of the Rich Rebels, thanks for your time and good luck this week against Monticello. Okay, thank you.